Ah, uh, yeah. Welcome in. Welcome back to another episode of the Format Podcast Live. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I got my guys with me. I got my main man, G. What up, G? You. Of course, I got my main man, the Transformer. Transformer was popping. Man, nothing, nothing dang but a G thing, bro. What's going on? Maintain it, maintain it. And I got a special guest um, with me. It is uh, Benjamin Arthur, Fox Sports reporter, covering specifically the NFL AFC South. Ben, thanks so much for joining us tonight, man. Thank you guys for having me. Excited to be here. Absolutely, absolutely. So what are we going to do? Uh, we're going to get right to it. You too, fellas. All right. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get to this last topic and then we're going to get out of here, man. That was, that was He made a lot yeah, of absolutely. really some fire points. He made, he made some fire points. But at the same time, bro, like, if we talking about true point guards, we, we stuck with Chris Paul. And nobody's going to say Chris Paul in their top five except for Kevin. I'm, I've heard I've heard it said. I've heard it said. What is he? He's uh, what is he fourth in assist now? Third? Third in assist, I think, Chris Paul. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He hasn't won though. Chris so Paul is just like, unlucky, man. That's like one of the unlucky. Point guards don't yeah. win enough, though, bro. Like they don't win enough to be but, but, even. And, but and I don't think that's because that's he's fine, a true point. I don't think that's because who he is. It's and they don't even call of, a point guard no more. They say the one and the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. let's let's go ahead. <laughs> we we got we got to put a, a pin in this one. Um, let's go ahead and get to the final topic. This one, G, you should enjoy this as well. Um, so. Uh, Carmelo Anthony recently, I guess, was asked. Um, obviously, he's been he's been a point of attention uh, with the Olympics because Kevin Durant just passed him as the all time leading scorer on Team USA. And so somebody asked him something and he was he was asked, I guess, about his uh, his top five um, Team USA players of all time. I thought this was interesting. And uh, as you can see, uh, his top five players are as follows. Team USA. Charles Barkley, the Chuckster, obviously himself, LeBron, the Mamba, they and Kevin me Durant. They could have they gave me that one. Could have put that one. Yeah. On. You know what I think is interesting? Other than Barkley, it's like everybody else came from his era. I thought that was interesting, but I guess we're all kind of predisposed. Like the guys he's played that. with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all kind of predisposed to doing that. So what I wanted to ask you guys is what are your thoughts on, I guess, um, uh, Melo's top five uh, Team USA guys? The only thing I'll say about that, and then I'll, I'll give the floor to you, is that all these guys are guys who played a lot of rounds as being on Team USA. I think Kobe played twice. All these guys played at least twice, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, uh, Melo played, what, three or four times. Mm -hmm. KD played like four times. LeBron played what three times now, plus FIBA, and um, I think Kobe played twice. So yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, what 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 are your thoughts on it, Transformer? We'll start with you this time. What are your thoughts on uh Carmelo Anthony's uh, top five uh, Team USA basketball players? I mean, I, I like it. Um, if you mm -hmm. listen to the end of what he was talking about, he literally mm -hmm. stated, uh, because the question was, "Where's MJ?" Everybody's like, "Where's MJ?" Right? That was my question. His thing was, he was like, he's looking at the overall FIBA. Like, you know, what all did you do in FIBA? How many Olympics that you played? He was like, if we want to do it by just that one instance that Jordan came in, he could put him in. He could put Jason Kidd in. He did Can say I interrupt that. you real quick? Can I finish? Dang. You just well, no, I just want to real, real, real quick, and then I'll, I'll, let you, I'll let you go. Um, But Jordan played FIBA twice and Olympics twice. Go ahead. And he never lost. But go ahead. Okay. All right. So that th that's what that's what his comment was about. Okay. Um, that he said if you know if you want to put just that one instance, that one gold medal in '92, what Jordan did, what he did, then we can we can add that in there. Everybody else on his list played in multiple Olympic games, so I think that's what he's also factoring in. And then I I'm not going to blame him for those three of those guys or guys that he played with. Yeah. He witnessed. Yeah. Uh, he, I'm mm -hmm. side by side by these guys. Yeah. I've witnessed. Kobe mentality. I literally just right. witnessed LeBron from the sideline just MVP this whole entire team to another gold mm -hmm. medal. You know what I mean? I've seen KD pass me. Not only that, he has four gold medals. Nobody has more than that. So how am I going to leave KD off of this list? So mm -hmm. I think when he's looking at it like that, I mean, I'm, I'm not mad at it. I'm not, I'm not mm -hmm. truly mad at it. Okay. Gee, your thoughts? Uh, so I look at like, like, like four to five players, right? Uh, of course, he's going to pick himself. 
to be you, you know, got to top five, right? I mean, well, he, he is. You got he, to. I, he's I, a, I he was been there. He done that. Be one of them though. Yeah, he been there. He done that, right? And so, I think he got three. Then, he got three medals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then and then you got KD, right? KD just passed him and point scored, and so you got to put KD there. Uh, the LeBron, LeBron saved his life, and so he always gonna pay homage to LeBron. The Charles Barkley, that really, that was different for me. Like I, I was trying to figure out why Charles Barkley was a monster in the Olympics, man. Mm-hmm. He pissed on everything that that would came his way, and so I can see him picking him. Yeah, lead score the ninety two team. Yeah, yeah, he, and he was on Dream Team three. Also, people forget so, that. Yeah. So he sh- he he's turning the page, I thought, and he's shining light on people who may didn't may you know was shadow under the shadow of MJ. I, I saw the only thing I can think of, like why would you leave MJ? Like you can't you can't take Kobe out, you can't mm-hmm. take Kobe out, right? Like he has to be there. You can't take uh, KD out, but I I, I just. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. That's just top five. You know this. this <laughs> that's a, a Jason two, Tatum side. That's what I'm talking about, Nick. <laughs> and then I mean, also, how old is uh, how old is Carmelo? Carmelo's what? Thirty eight. Somewhere around there. Yeah. Thirty eight. No, he, so he's, he's he's older than forty. Yeah, oh, yeah cause LeBron thirty nine, yeah, so he's got to be forty. Hey, I mean, he's got to be I like, forty. I like his team. Right. I'm just gonna finish up with this. I like it. I like the five. Yeah. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with him. Leaving MJ off the list, I get it, I understand, but you know he been there, he done that, and so there's a reason why he picked those guys, and it just could be they all did lunch together. Could have been that, you know right. what I mean? Could have just been as simple as that, like you just shouting right. his homies what? out. So, okay, okay, I got you, I got what you're saying. Um, all right, so uh, I don't think I have <clears throat> too much issue with it either. Um, I don't like the fact that. There's not a true big here, but, you know, I guess it's not like creating the best team out of all the guys who have played for. Yeah, USA I don't think that was a question. It's, right. It's the, the best five guys in his estimation. Yeah. So um, I, w- I would like to have Michael Jordan there. But if you don't have Mike and you have Kobe, like it's kind of OK. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like that's that's not a bad look. But uh, given my choice, I'm, it's always going to be Mike. So Mellow, Mike. Barkley, uh, KD, and I guess you could put LeBron there. I'm not totally upset about that, but um, yeah, I think. What's your yeah, objection? Again? Yeah, I think, I think I'm okay with that. Just Michael Jordan in, instead of uh, Kobe. And again, hey, man, I'm not, I never forgive LeBron for letting that D three walk on dunk on him. And then, <laughs> bro, I never forgive him for that. He's 39, bro. I don't let go. Man, that doesn't matter, man, bro. It don't man, matter. Breathe. But look, but look, it if he matter. don't want to do it, oh my God, we've never seen anyone that's 39 years old dunk like that while chewing basketball. And you know, you know, they'd come up with some crap. They anyway. what they said didn't happen. It was AI. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, LeBron yeah, that was both. That was really both. out here talking AI about didn't happen, is, bro. Is AI and it didn't that really was, happen that was like bogus. this. Is how these people get down, man. To me, that's that's just trolling. I I don't. It's certain certain things you pay attention to. I t- I pay attention to facts and actual sports takes. You something like that. I'm just ignoring. Right. I'm not even gonna listen to that. I'm not even gonna uh, that. what we got? What up, young disciple? Appreciate you checking in. Um, about transforming. Check that blast for me about Curry being the best of his generation. That's pain, yo. MVP's one. That's, pain, uh, that's what he said. Okay, thank you, young disciple. Thank mm-hmm. you. Thank you. That's what he said. The best of this generation. No, I, not, don't get me started, well, young disciple. What I was saying is, I think, I think it's, leave I think it's arguable. It's arguable. It's not. It's yeah, not we, arguable. okay, that's fine. We're not, we're not gonna go back. All. all right, cool. That's that's cool. It's not even debatable. All right, yeah, that's that's fine. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, okay, okay. Uh, where were we? Time out. 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 We literally just made a comment, right? Steph Curry. On not being on the 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 top five of your point guard list, why? Because he defense. only played one way. Yes, played only one way. Yeah, yeah. How many defensive first teams does he have, or any defensive I team does Steph Curry have? I don't think he's got, he's any. got none, bro. The era he Zero. played in. How many does LeBron have? Zero. Six. Five. Five. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm talking. I'm Six. thinking about defensive player. Of the all year, all bro. defensive I'm teams. Sorry. Oh, okay, oh, yeah. okay. Five first teams. All team defensive teams. Yeah, yeah. Five all first defensive team teams. Six. I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm sorry. 
If you want to go by that, he's too too busy changing the game, bro. He's too busy changing the game. Case closed. Case closed. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm confused. What's going on? All right, we're, we're, yeah, I'm sorry. Let's let's get back to what we was talking about. We yeah, didn't do that. Gosh, man. He just got Mike dunked on by a D3 player, and you bringing him up. Like, <laughs> he's a walk on. So you a walk on on Baltimore City Community College, bro. He's a walk on at Baltimore City Community College. He did. He did. He dunked on LeBron in the he Olympics, bro. Yeah. Okay, so Jason Tatum deserves was, uh deserves to be a top five player of the year because Jason Tatum, as a rookie, I believe, or second, second sophomore. Year. Second like year, yeah. bam! I'm talking. Uh, LeBron was yeah, jumping at him. him. He boomed on him. LeBron was jumping at him. Yeah. And so Jason world, Tatum boomed really on him. Revolves around LeBron James. Bro. Come on, man. LeBron just let yeah, all the bums dunk on him, bro. Like that's all the only thing I'm saying. All these bums is open season for him, bro. Like it, that's just what it is. Hey, listen, you ain't gonna get a big contract, <laughs> dunk on LeBron. Him. I the bet man you dunked on one time. I man. Bet, Not everybody. Can I dunk bet on since him. since he dunked on LeBron, we are gonna see him in the NBA this year. I guarantee you. I guarantee we'll sure. you. I mean, I, w- I wouldn't even say just because he I doesn't LeBron. That boy he balled was, his behind he, off. He played like he wanted he to ball. He balled out. Yeah. It was just like, so I, I, like he, he just happened to dunk on LeBron, the Olympics that man was MVP. Balling. He was balling. He dunked on the Olympic MVP, LeBron James. And you know who was the MVP? <laughs> Tatum. You talking about Tatum? Yeah, t- t- Tatum. That, that was my joke, but then that uh, joke is better. Jason uh, said, he like, bro, he banged on LeBron. That's good. And he that's said good. it was like because that. of, uh, I guess, <laughs> I guess Jason Tatum wouldn't, no, no, LeBron wouldn't sign an autograph for him back in the day or something like that. <gasps> is that he what was, he like, said? He owed him. Yeah, it was, it was something. He was, oh, it was wow. some built up animosity towards LeBron. That's crazy. Like I think he denied an autograph or a photo with him. And Jason Tatum was like, I, I always remembered that. I always remember. Yo, quick side, I can't believe that, hurt. bro. Like, I can believe see, that. You see the ball bark on that kid the other day who was trying to get a picture? Yeah, the dude that walked up on him. It, it was it was like a little kid, a little French kid. He's like, Stop. Yeah. Don't do it. I'm Fuck like, that whoa. Guy. I mean, I mean well, obviously you can't, well, you can't take he, every He just put his hands up. He just said, yo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, No, stop. Stop. That is not. No, no. It's the middle of the night, bro. It's the middle of the night, bro. First of all, what that kid doing out there that late, bro? I don't know. Maybe he's with his parents. I don't know. He out there trying to. That man, know. Brian, probably had about four or five drinks in him. So that makes it okay? He might have had enough saying, of the French, yo. Bro, he's a human, dog. He's not he a is. freaking he robot. Is. He is. <laughs> he's human. <laughs> <laughs> this man's in the middle of the night drinking full of that oil. You see how he came in when he walked in? That boy started <laughs> getting yeah. busy. Yeah, <laughs> PTSD. <laughs> boy, stop. Y'all tripping. <laughs> Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. Oh, yo, Nick is wild. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, they going to date. Hey, they going to love this, man. Y'all keep them LeBron James getting dunked on comments coming. Goodness gracious. And then he stood over top because, like, he did. He did. He said, man, not the body plus the. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, he did. He put, he put his foot on his chest at the dunk on him, oh, bro. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. Because that boy was standing on the sideline hurt Ooh, after yes the game. All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and, and leave it right here, man. Good good show tonight, man. Real good show. Definitely enjoyed that. Um, You know. Oh, no, no, no. I did have one more question. I have one question. What's up? What's up? What's up? We, were, um, we made the comment about uh that Melo didn't have bigs on his list. What big are you going to put on there? How um, big would you put? You ain't gonna D Rob. Either one. Huh? Either one. That, was that a pause? Yeah, that was, a pause, that was a pause. Well, where what was big? Pause? What big would you put on there? Yeah, what, what's his name? That's, that's not a pause. Man. I don't think name? that's a pause. That's a little bit of a reach, bro. What's his yeah, name? <laughs> <laughs> what's his name? What's the big's name? <laughs> exactly, exactly, B. What is exactly. the big? He, name? Ain't to, he ain't have to bark on that kid like that. I thought that was a bit much. Like, I get it. You can't take every picture and sign every autograph. But and it's weird, though, because there are some there are some um, athletes that people talk about and they say they sign every autograph. Say again. We've seen every athlete, major athlete like LeBron James, get into that one moment to where 
Look, yeah. don't bother me right but now. But what I'm saying, he ain't have to bark on the kid like that. That was kind of weird to me. But, you know, again, to your point, he is human. The man was full of that oil. He was full of that oil. That man was drinking before he got there. The man hey, just man, won I... an Olympic, like, Olympic title, bro. Like, come on, Look, man, man I, don't, I, don't, I don't never make that. I don't drink, so I never make that an excuse, and I don't tolerate it from nobody. So I mean, well, so, so you don't drink. So you don't know what it's me. like to be that. You know what hey. I mean? When you just got done with a party, you like, bro, and then it's late at night. You like, why the hell is it? First of all, you probably like, why hey, the hell? Man, is he got dunk more earlier that day, man. He ain't had. He didn't want to take out. no pictures with nobody, bro. Like, <laughs> he was Chill like, out. just leave me alone. I need a drink. That's because he had a video <laughs> of him getting an Olympic medal, gold. Before one. we before we roll out, look like we got a we got a call from Bruce. Let's take this format podcast. Hello. What up, Bruce? Yeah, this is Bruce, man. Hey, man. Yo. You know, I, I know we're talking about the metal top five, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, what's, up with you, what's up with your disdain for LeBron, man? God damn, man. Talk to You're him, Bruce. In, huh? Who, me? Talk to him. Yeah. It's, it's... What is your disdain with LeBron, man? So... I know you come along with you just... There's so, something deep inside of you that just don't like this guy. No, no, like, no, 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 no. Let me stop. Let me stop you. Let me kids. stop you. You're right, I don't, Chris. I don't. I don't. I don't know that dude, so I don't dislike. I know him. you don't like right, right, what, right, what right. I what I what I dislike. I dislike the way his fans behave. I dislike all the. I dislike the fact that he didn't. He didn't go through it like all the greats before him went through it. I I, I dislike the fact that he cut corners. I dislike the fact that him and and his organization literally try to control the media. To create something, you know, uh, not through the natural means of just being dominant at your sport. I like all this. I excuse me. I dislike all this stuff that comes with him. I don't dislike him. You see what I'm saying? Right. There, there's, a, there's a lot of BS that that comes with him that I that I can't I can't feel. I really don't like it. And so that okay, that's what the problem is for I'm me. The, I know I know your topic, right? Mm -hmm. What corners did he? What corners did he cut? <sighs> You know what? Bruce, man, don't man. get him started. Uh, yeah, oh, get, damn, get, both y'all are. Nah, Bruce. get him started, Bruce. Bruce. Get him started, 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 Bruce. Nah, nah, we ain't got time, man. I got to work in the morning, man. <laughs> <All> <laughs> I got to take my kid to school. Okay. I got to go to work. But, um. All right, are we top, okay, let me ask you this. So, yeah, it's metal top five. Is metal top five what of the Olympics? Yeah, yeah, that's his top five Team USA players, correct? Uh, yeah, that's all he's top five, man. I'm not a big mellow fan. I'm from Baltimore. I'm not biased. Mm -hmm. I've never seen nothing special about him. In I the think Olympics? he's height. Mellow. He cool. He, yeah, he's good in the Olympics. Oh, okay. But That's what we're talking like about. Winning in, 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 the, in the grand scheme of things. Eh, I'm not no big Mellow fan. Never was. Gotcha. I'm not going to be biased because he's from Baltimore. I just never was a Mellow fan. I'm just sorry. Um, he top five <laughs> Olympics, though, for sure. I just yeah, never yeah, no, was a is. Mellow fan. He is. And I'm fine he, with he, that. He's a uh, flip flopper. First, he a flip flopper. One time, one day from New York, one day from Boston. There's too much about him that I just don't. He just don't. He's not a winner. He's not one of the great legends. He don't have. Mm -mm. He don't. He don't inspire his team. He don't uplift his team above. You know what I'm saying? Mm, that's true. For a legendary that status, boy, he he's always not, got one motion. Shoot. Yeah, he's <laughs> not. He's not LeBron. He's not on LeBron level. I think Melo was he's a he's a Hall of Famer, but he's all he's he's, he's over hyped. Um You won that title by shooting though. If you did you see him in Syracuse? He was a bucket. I mean, yeah, he was, I'm yeah, but he was also he dominating was the glass too. Yes, he's a legend and he, at third. And he put the ball right back up to the to the basket. Real quick. <laughs> yo. I'm talking about NBA. Melo was not even when he had that team and went to the um the, uh Western Conference Finals that year. Mm -hmm. He had his Lost shot. To Kobe. Yeah, I was about to say he ran into Kobe. Like, there's no shame in that. Yeah, and that was a tough, that was a good battle. I like that. He never, he just never was. He just, I just, I'm just not no big mellow fan overall. I just, I, just don't I, like I respect how he, it. That's cool. I just don't like how you destroyed New York when New York was rolling with Stoudemire, Jeremy Lin, and all them. New York was rolling. Well, rolling, he, rolling, rolling. he didn't, he didn't destroy New York because remember, um, Stoudemire had that micro fracture and he was never the same after that. So. Injuries, injuries killed he, Stoudemire. That wasn't mellow. He, he came to New York under the premise he was going to be Chris Paul. Mm-hmm. That's the other problem. That was, but the league, I don't, yo, crazy. League, That's another bad. thing. But yeah, uh, as far as like the Olympics, yeah, he top five Olympics, but not top. In, NBA, he's not even top. Well, I guess he made the 75-year team, so he's yeah, good yeah. for that, but I'm not no, uh, 
huge Melo fan as never was. He's a set shot jump shooter. He he doesn't make his teammates better. That's why he never won a, a ring. Set shot, set shot right? He one of the best pull up oh. jump shooters we've ever seen. Turn around, put you on the post. Uh, That's right. Like, uh, Melo, complete That's offensive right. game. Has Melo ever, ever ever uplifted his team in the NBA? Not not in college. I'm talking about NBA. None of his team. No. No. <clears throat> no, no. Uh-uh. No, but so, see what what you're what you're forgetting here, Bruce. Though is that Melo played the small forward. That is not a traditional small forward's role. A small forward role historically outside of Bird and LeBron has been what to get buckets, and Melo is that a great bucket getter, just like um freaking what's his name uh uh Kevin Durant, right? Allie, if Kevin Durant never yeah. goes to Golden State, Kevin Durant don't have those two chips either. So we can't we can't look at that any differently. Say again, G. Glorify Allen Houston. Allen Houston. I think it's a possibility. Durant could have got one without Golden State. Yeah. Nah, that wasn't gonna yeah, happen. Nah. He hasn't Why shown it because he because he he's had the out. opportunity prior to and after, and he hasn't done it. So until he does it, until he does it, the answer is going to be no. Well, that happens to the best of them. He got, and that's fine. I truly believe he got jealous of Russell Westbrook because he was more beloved than OKC than than the. Uh, uh, I don't. Russell I don't Westbrook think he got that, jealous that's not, of him. I think not, he just got in his no. way. Yeah, Westbrook I, played I, too I, out of control, and he's not coachable. That's the problem with Westbrook. Mr. Bruce, I'm saying it's my theory. I'm not okay. saying that I'm right. Uh, okay, I got okay, it. okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. But why did he leave though, like a, a chump though? After that year, they went to the um, Western Conference Finals. Yeah, he did. Um, Draymond, Draymond Green had to fly to the Hamptons and get him. Yeah, I mean, you you want me? You no, want no, me? Hey, Bruce, no, say that again, Bruce. Bruce, Bruce, start over, Bruce. Stay in. He said Draymond. He said Draymond. Bruce, let me tell you. Let me tell you why, Bruce. Because LeBron made it okay to make cowardly moves like that. That's why. Wow, mm. now I was saying, oh, it was wow. a college move to LeBron to Miami. Yes. You cannot win a championship yes. by yourself. Uh, wait, this. wait, 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 wait. So, listen, I understand basketball is a team game, but you just yeah. said a falsehood because it's happened twice. We saw Elijah Wan do it in 94, and we saw uh, uh, Jokic do it last year, He's two crazy. years ago. One them uh, man, you <laughs> yeah, sure. Yo, let me back yeah, you up. Let sure. me back you up, Bruce. Yeah, and and sure. then and then I'm gonna let you go. Bruce, Bruce, let me stop I'm you, okay? Go, Hakeem my Hakeem man. Olajuwon on that team was the first player and one of only two players to ever win a championship, leading a team in every major statistical category through an entire playoff run, resulting in a championship. That's one. Number okay. two, um, Hakeem Olajuwon had the greatest point differential between first and second leading scorer on a championship team. Ever. Okay. That's two. Hakeem Olajuwon, the only player ever to win. Uh, he's the first team All NBA Defensive Player of the Year, first team All Defense, NBA MVP, NBA All Star, and Finals MVP all in the same season. No other player has ever done that. So, your premise I get basketball is a team sport and it's hard to win by yourself, but people always say you can't win a title by yourself and they always forget Dream in 94 and they forget Jokic two years ago. So, hey, Mr. Bruce, I what up? Hold you know, I got the phone too. Boy, I see you dedicated to the 80s and 90s, boy. I see you still <laughs> stuck in the past, boy. I mean, you can I'm see it that you. way, but I'm, you know what? That's that's my era, man. I'm 45 years old. I, I can't say nothing else. You still stuck in it. You still stuck in it, brother. I, well, you can say yeah, that. So let me say this. So why did they put um, San Francisco in instead of um, Kenny Smith? I mean, so, in place of Kenny Smith because well, they were struggling. Well, they listen. They 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 hit shots. I'm not saying that the role players didn't play their roles. That's not what I'm saying. And I would be disingenuous if I said that Sam Cassell didn't play a key role in both the 94 and 95 championship runs. I would never be so disrespectful as to say that. But when we say I'm talking about, you know, having one superstar and a bunch of role players, it can be done. We've seen it done. That superstar just has to take it to a just a totally different level. So we've seen it done. So we can't keep saying, oh, it can't be done when we've seen it happen twice now. So what? So was there no Hall of Famers on that Houston Rockets team besides Hakeem Olajuwon? No, no, there were not. There wasn't even another All Star. There was Ty, one Ty player. On Ty Drexel was on the '95 team. Ty Drexel was on the '95 team, not the '94 team. Didn't get that time. So was, was Hakeem? Was Hakeem? Uh, did he win it all by himself on the '90 on the '95 um, score? Not on the '95 team. No, I think Drexler averaged like 20, 20 through that playoff run. Um, which was okay, which was all time great, but Dream pretty much, you know, he, he dominated again. And but, but I mean, right. we could we could talk about the '95 team another time. But I, I got you talk about another time. I yeah. see you real analytical. I got digging my bag. For you <laughs> next, uh, well, well, God, that 
that and Elijah Wan is my favorite player of all time. So, you know, I'm, I'm always ready for him. You want to point this differentials and all this stuff. So I know next time when I approach you, I got to come, come on my A game, but I, I can't. No doubt, that's, that, that's that journalism, man. <laughs> No doubt, man. I appreciate you calling, Bruce, man. Thanks so much for listening to the show, and thanks so much for calling in. I got you. All right, brother. All right, right, team. Um, We're going to go ahead and and leave it here for the night. We're about two and a half hours, and uh, it's getting late. (laughs) And I'm going to be dead again tomorrow. But uh, before we... Before we get out of here, y'all definitely want to um, give G and Transformer an opportunity to say whatever they got to say, and then we'll uh, then we'll call it a night. G, take off. Hey, man, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Share, like, and subscribe. That's yeah, we got. appreciate that. Yeah. No, definitely, man. Like G said, man, like, comment, subscribe. We enjoy it all, man. Your comments yeah. definitely mean a lot to us. Obviously, you guys see your comments actually boost the conversation even more, man. So definitely mm-hmm. comment as much as you guys can. On a positive note, you know, don't don't come in the comment section <laughs> trolling, but you know, because we'll definitely ignore that. But definitely, we appreciate it. If you're on Facebook, Snapchat, anything like that, make sure you guys come to YouTube, hit that like button, hit that follow button, and things like that. We we greatly appreciate it. That's helped us put some more content out to uh, right. other platforms and things like that. So we greatly appreciate it. On top of that, uh, Steph Curry was not the greatest of his generation. It was LeBron. I'm out. <laughs> Sneak that last one in, huh? He got dunked on by a D3 player. 39-year-old get dunked on by a D3 player. You want to keep more, talking? More to come, bro. This is going to happen. It's going to continue <laughs> happening all season. All body season. Bag. Body bag. Body bag. You're not going to catch bag. LeBron. You're not going to catch the ball and slide to no screen. <laughs> they going. They going no on. more. He's like, nah. They going to call fouls that. on that. Now. I ain't yeah. doing that no yeah, he more. He start hacking like Honestly, he, he was a half second Listen, away from him being a foul. You you're supposed to crack but him at thirty nine. Not take the charge, bro. Yo, uh-huh. Brandon, you already know what it is, man. But I think I think I handled that properly, bro. <laughs> he almost said Bruce off about LeBron. Who? Uh, Bruce said when he just called in. He, he tried, oh, okay. He, he yeah, tried yeah, to, yeah, yeah. He tried to get me, but you know, I wasn't going for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Man, that right, sounds y'all. like it's gonna be a good topic, man. Steph over LeBron, who was the better of the generation? <sighs> all right, y'all. we know the answer exactly. All right, move all right, on. Let's let's go ahead. We're gonna leave it right there. <laughs> good night, y'all. <laughs> we will we will see you next time. So normally we do a Wednesday night show, but since we did this long one here on Tuesday, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to let it breathe until Saturday, y'all. No Wednesday night show. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. And uh, we out. G, Transform, appreciate y'all. We out. Bye, Peace. Dude.